Kentucky is the most beautiful state you can imagine, especially over here in the Appalachian Mountains. It's green, it's lush, the water's pure. We are surrounded by national forests. This is a beautiful place to live. It is a frighteningly deadly place to live as well. We have loved tobacco for decades. And we developed the highest rates of smoking in the nation, the highest rates of lung disease in the nation, and unfortunately the highest rates of lung cancer in the nation. We were a state deeply rooted in tobacco, simply because it grew well here. Historic region of the U.S. Southland, where grow the milder, better tasting cigarette tobaccos. It made you almost want to support the tobacco industry by smoking. Your granddaddy smoked, he's 97 years old, you know what I'm saying? It's not smoking, it's got to be something else. We have a lot of radon in Kentucky and not many people testing for it. When a person is diagnosed with lung cancer, they experience some emotional adjustment that's somewhat different than others who've been diagnosed with various types of cancer. They have a lot of self-blame, especially if they used to be a smoker, and there's a lot of stigma. You can't blame people for breast cancer, but you can blame people for lung cancer because they smoked. If they had not smoked, then they wouldn't, you know, so you demonize the patient. Kentucky loses 3,400 plus people to lung cancer every year. Right now, it is a disease that is so devastating, there are no survivors that are trying to tell their story. And in that sense, you can't get the message out. And so somebody has to speak for the dead. Somebody has to speak for these people and make uh, uh, the world aware that this is a devastating disease that can be actually picked up early. It's really amazing about what the Bristol Myers Squibb Foundation has done in helping us form the Kentucky Leeds Collaborative is that it addresses patient and family-centered care from the whole cancer trajectory. We start with screening all the way through survivorship. Lung cancer screening creates a really unique opportunity to contribute to a dramatic change in lung cancer survivorship. We have, for the first time, the hope of creating a large community of lung cancer survivors, that we will be able to view lung cancer in a very different light, that individuals diagnosed with lung cancer will have the hope and the optimism of surviving. You know, going to have the screen was the best thing my doctor ever told me because I had no symptoms. I, you know, there was no symptoms. I hadn't started anything, and they found it. I'm just so glad that I did go and do it. The unique thing about the Kentucky LEADS program uh, is that this, for the first time, really brings researchers, clinicians, university people, both the University of Kentucky, University of Louisville, and other state government officials together to try to address both the early detection of lung cancer, the advanced care necessary to treat lung cancer, and also, hopefully, as we create survivors, the clinical resources necessary to follow up survivors. I have a lot of hope for changing the face of lung cancer care and lung cancer survivorship starting in Kentucky but I think throughout the country. This Kentucky Leads Collaborative really gives me that hope because we are really targeting a very comprehensive whole person approach to lung cancer care from screening all the way through survivorship. I'm a lung cancer survivor, twice over. I don't do anything simply. 